So in this video, we're going to talk about sort of the next set of things that is done commonly in biotechnology, and that's reproductive cloning. The definition of cloning is to make an exact genetic copy of, and this can be a gene or an entire organism. So sometimes when you're doing cloning, you're only doing it for, say, one particular set of genes, or sometimes you're doing it for a, a set of plasmids, which we talked about previously, or sometimes you're doing it for an entire organism. So in this case, Dolly was the first um, uh, animal that was uh, cloned in the laboratory. It was done in 1997. And some folks think that it, you know, cloning isn't real for some reason, or at least I'd heard that a few years ago. It definitely is real. Um, Dolly was definitely cloned, and many, many, many organisms are cloned uh, kind of every single day. I don't want to say that it's sort of trivial, but cloning is definitely something that does go on all the time, um, and to animals too. So like I said, it could just be plasmids or bacteria, but cloning happens with animals. So Dolly was cloned, uh, and I'm gonna show a picture of this in a minute, but they took an uh, udder cell, because like I said in um, lab, every single cell in your body and in Dolly's body or Dolly's mom's body or um, however you wanna think about it, has all of the DNA um, for everything. It has all the instructions for your entire genome. Your entire genome is in every single cell. Um, it was grown in a lab to create a whole bunch of daughter cells. They have a bunch of copies of this. Then they took an egg cell from another sheep and they removed its nucleus. All right, that's important detail. They removed the nucleus from this egg cell. Then they took the um, denucleated egg, as it's called, and they put in the DNA from the other cell using electricity, probably by a process called electrophoresis, um, and they stimulated it to grow um, as an egg, and they ultimately implanted it into a surrogate mother sheep, um, and it was born as Dolly with the exact same DNA from the original udder cell. So, again, they, they took a an, an udder cell, they took an egg cell as well, they removed the nucleus from the egg cell and inserted the DNA from that udder cell into the egg cell. And here's a picture of it. It's a little sheep. You got these udder cells here. You get their DNA, you extract their DNA, you put them into an egg cell and you cause that egg cell to develop as an embryo. Cause the egg cell to develop as an embryo, then you implant it into um, another sheep, and the sheep gives birth to um, an organism that is exactly the same DNA as this original, this original sheep over here. So there's more that you can do beyond just making a clone of things. You can create a, a sort of clone of things, but you can modify its DNA to do different things. Um, and as I've said previously, this is called recombinant DNA. When you have DNA from two different organisms, it's a transgenic organism. When you have DNA from two different sources on the same chromosome or in the same region, that's called recombinant DNA. And they created livestock like poly that contain human genes, um, which help with hemophilia. And this is also going to help with things, hopefully, like zero a transplantation, which create a livestock that can serve as organ donors or blood donors, which does happen. So you, you can meet people today that have pig organs. They have pig hearts as part of them. Um, human cloning would look like identical twins, uh, but there are difficulties that come along with cloning primates because primate cells concentrate proteins that help control cell division in the part of the egg that is removed during the procedure. And so as a result, dividing cells are unable to like correctly split up, correctly segregate chromosomes leading to death. And that's why you, we might never ever have a human clone, which is not necessarily the worst thing ever because there's a, it, it's, a, um, it's a moral minefield. There's a lot of things that people don't want to happen, or they, they really don't want people to be cloned in this matter. Because there's a lot of unethical stuff that could happen. What if we start cloning ourselves so that we can harvest organs? Would that be okay? I, you know, probably, probably not. What if people just 
really, really rich people start cloning family members. Is that okay? Is it the same person? Not really. It's really not okay either. Um, we also have this idea of um, trying to uh, save endangered species. Um, so you use this advanced cell therapy technique and you can get, uh, hopefully someday we will be able to save species that are on the edge of endangerment. Uh, there's, oops, there's also some hope that we'll be able to bring back the woolly mammoth, which is again, another moral minefield. Who knows if that's gonna be a good idea or not? And who knows if that's even going to be possible? But again, there is this possibility of saving endangered species or maybe even bringing species back to life that have gone extinct. So the next thing we're gonna talk about in the next lecture is forensic biotechnology.